Hey, today I'm going to show you how to set up Nightbot for your live stream. Hello everyone out there in YouTube world, how are you guys doing today? Today I'm going to show you how to set up Nightbot for your live stream. Yo, how to set up Nightbot. So let's get into it. You want to type in Nightbot in the search menu on YouTube. Boom, all one word. Now it comes up third in my search, so you want to click on the Nightbot channel. And from there you want to click on the control panel, as you can see it right here in the top right corner. Alright, now this screen should pop up, and from here you're going to click on log in. Let's log that out real, real quick. All right. So you're going to click on log in. Now, I'm doing this for YouTube, not Twitch. So log in with YouTube. Then it's going to ask you for permissions, and you just hit allow. And what you're doing now is you're basically linking your channel. Here, you can join the channel. From here, you're gonna copy you're gonna copy that little website address then you're gonna go back into YouTube you're gonna go to studio creator and from there you're gonna go to live streaming once you get to live streaming what you wanna do is click on where you see these three buttons next to live chat go to manage moderators and from there you can hit control V to paste in that URL and as you can see Nightbot pops up click on it and boom now Nightbot is your moderator now you have many things you can do here we can start off with timers. <clears throat> so you go to timers. Now you go over here to add. You want to add a timer. So right here we'll give you an example of a few things you can do, right? Okay. So they want you to give a name for whatever timer you're about to use. Let's uh, name this, I don't know, uh, subscribe. Now, the message that you want Nightbot to say is how about, uh, you know, please subscribe to my YouTube channel alright so now this is what will display in the chat please subscribe to my YouTube channel now the default is set for 15 minutes so this will come up every 15 minutes so that's nice, but you can change it if you want. You can change it to less if you feel like it. You know, you can make it every five minutes. That's a bit much, though. You can make it every hour. I think about every... 10 minutes is probably good depending on how long you plan on streaming and depending on how active your chat is because you don't want Nightbot to keep on popping up more than more than people in your chat so here's another way to set up a timer also so after two after 10 minutes and after every two lines this message will pop up so Maybe you want this to pop up after, I don't know, six lines. So that way it'll give people 
in the chat more chances to put things up without seeing Nightbot. But also make sure after you've done all this, because this the way the screen is set up, it's hard to notice that you have to go all the way down and hit the submit button. Hit that submit button and now it's saved. See that? You can always add more or you can delete or you can edit or just disable. Now spam protection. This is what some, uh, some of my viewers don't like but it is necessary. Eh, but it depends on how you want to run your own stream. That's the thing. Now then, all this stuff is already enabled. Blacklist words and phrases. You can go to options here and you can put in what words you don't want to be on there. Whatever words you want to be black blacklisted like uh, you know for me I blacklist all curse words and any form of a curse word that somebody might want to try to put on there. So if somebody uses one of those words they get a timeout. You can make the timeout longer or less if you want. You can exempt people like your own moderators like if you put other moderators on they're exempt so they can curse it up all they want. Uh, you can also use your own custom message but me I leave it as the way it is because it uses Duke Nukem messages Duke Nukem quotes excessive caps if people if people keep on using a bunch of caps in my stream they'll automatically get a timeout again you can decide like the length of the timeout and things like that Excessive emotes, links. Yep, I don't allow links, so you might get a timeout for that. Excessive symbols. And then, of course, there's repetitions. If somebody keeps on saying the same things over and over in the chat, Nightbot will just give you a timeout. Because basically, what you're doing is flooding the chat. And as a YouTuber, as somebody that's streaming, you don't want anybody flood flooding your chat. So that's pretty much it. So you guys have fun with that. And I'll see you tomorrow for the next stream.